Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. We had a lot of rainfall up to the north and to the west of us well over the past several days. Some areas seeing as much as five inches of rainfall and with more of that expected, we are going to be expecting some more flood watches to be in effect. Mule shoe though came in at the big winter just over five inches. Some areas even into uh, Roosevelt County coming in at the same thing, but these are the rain totals from our Texas Tech Mesonet sites and noticing most of the heaviest of rainfall is up to the north and to the west in portions of Parmer Castro and even Bailey County and with more rain on the way from about one to two inches that ground is just so saturated. It's going to become runoff and that is leading to some flood watches that are in effect until 7 p.m. this evening central time 8 p.m. this evening mountain time. So something to keep in mind for the area shaded in green. If you are going to be heading up that way or if you do live in that area, more flooding is expected yet again as another cold front moves on through that cold front not bringing any rainfall at least this morning just yet because it's still into the panhandle. Taking a look at our plain view live sky view, nothing but clear conditions, but also watching this cold front slowly push down to the south and will give us that rainfall and that cooler air. For now, many of us this morning staying dry with a few clouds as we take a look at our radar loop over the past three hours. But zooming up just to the north just a little bit, you notice that main line of showers and thunderstorms from that cold front ahead of that front more scattered showers popping up and that's going to be the picture for today, expecting more of that to be happening. So some of our northern counties, including Hall and even Briscoe County, noticing a few more rain showers and as that front slowly inches down to the south, more showers will be expected. So timing everything out for you later on this morning, some of our northern counties getting a little bit more of that shower activity continuing to be scattered in nature throughout the day. So on and off scattered showers are possible throughout the region from that cold front drying out overnight and leaving behind a few clouds off in eastern New Mexico and a few more rain showers along with that rain. Also that cold front bringing in some cooler air by this morning. We're going to be watching as that cold front seeps in that cooler air areas up to the north into the 50s still haven't reached down to the south yet as we're still into the 70s. As we head on throughout the afternoon, this front is going to stall directly over us, leaving that cooler air to the north. So high temperatures into the north going to be into the upper 50s and lower 60s. I do think we'll get into the lower 70s here in the hub city areas, though, down to the south could potentially reach the low to mid 80s since that front is just directly stalling over us, not bringing that cooler air down just yet. Then we keep that cooler air even into tomorrow. For now, though, feeling very comfortable temperatures into the 60s and some 70s only going to get up to about 70 degrees. We have that forecasted high of 70 degrees with the average at about 79, keeping those rain chances throughout the area. Also, though, keep in mind some areas up to the north going to be a little bit cooler from that cold front down to the south going to be a little bit warmer with temperatures into the 80s. Rain boots will be needed throughout the day because we know how easily it floods here, especially off to the north and west west with that ample rainfall that they received. We dry out by Friday as temperatures hold steady into the 70s. Texas Tech game on Saturday looks to be fantastic, dry and comfortable. Another cold front sweeps on through by Monday, dropping our temperatures back into the upper 60s and lower 70s. Well, you know, I don't have rain boots still. I'm a Florida girl. I should have rain boots. But you I don't. should have rain boots. Everyone that lives here or even out of the area should just have rain boots just in case I bought my first pair actually a couple of weeks ago. I bought new ones because the other ones are bean boots, so they're not that high and they're not as waterproof as rain boots. That's an essential for here. I definitely have rain jackets. We finally got K-Mac rain jackets, yeah. which I'm excited there about. There you go. Yeah, and the umbrella. Don't forget the umbrella <laughs> exactly. as well. Exactly. Yeah.